Hello, hello, hello to you all. Hope you're good. Let's turn the game music up a smidge. A smidge. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's go back to the main game. I need to just remember I haven't put my the game back on. I need to do that. Tell it that it's tell it that it's thingy. Oh, of course it's not letting me do that now, is it? Why are you not recommending? Come on. Where's Willie Morgan? Where's my willy? Where's my willy when you need it? Come on. You're not going to do it, are you? You're not going to do it to me. Lovely. That's a good way. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Stacey. Hey, Lily. Hey, Crazy Cookie Cow. Hope you're good. Hey, C. Hope you're well. Um, I'm going to send that to C. I'm going to give C the uh, code way so that if we do do the code giveaway later, um, then we can do that. I don't know why my game isn't letting me choose the game specific window why is willie morgan not here can i try auto will it work if i do auto let's see let's see let's see let's see please work please work game please work come on game please work there you go look there you go let's turn moi on in the corner although i'm very 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 oh hang on i've turned that off there you go i should get rid of that sort of Come on, green screen. Do your thing. This is why I need to get rid of the green screen. Um, we'll see. Thank you, C. Thank you, thank you. We'll do it a bit later on, though. We'll see how many viewers we get. We'll do it a bit later on. Um, right. Back to game. Load game. Let's see. Well, I forgot where we're up to. I've completely... Oh, we're here with him, aren't we? What had we done? Just turn that down a, ta a tad. Hey, Rhino. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. I had fun in that last stream. Um, probably, I would say, the most fun I've had in a, um, in a stream for a long while. Most, sure I've most fun I've had in a stream for a long, long while. Um, it was good. 
You all interacted really well. It was good fun. We had some good banter. It was good. What's this game about? Um, I'll be honest with you. You probably should watch it. You should probably go back, not watch this stream, and go back and actually watch the the first stream that we did because it was quite a lot of story. Um, this person here in the middle of the screen, by the in the doorway, Willie Morgan, is um, the character, and um, his dad went missing ten years ago. But um, but yeah, it's um, he, he's gone missing. His dad's gone missing, but he's still alive apparently. We're trying to find him. We've gone to Bone Town. We've escaped. We got to Bone Town. We found out what we escaped. We've left our house, gone to Bone Town to try and find him. But I would suggest you probably watch the earlier one. You can watch his stream now, but maybe watch the uh, the other stream before. Poor Willie, I know. Bruised and battered is poor Willie, emotionally, if not physically. Um. I forgot where we're up to. What have we done? Where are, where are we? What have we done? We've got the multi-purpose tool. Um, the innkeeper is mean. We've definitely established that for certain. Um, I need to go to the thing. I want to see if um, I want to see if our drugstore person's back. No, they're still not back. So we've got six pieces. We've got six pieces of the of the of the map of the incomplete well map. Studied. Even now with six pieces, I can't get clear clues. Yes, yeah, so we've got the stained glass winner, correct. That's right, see, so, yeah. So we've got the six, we've got six pieces, we've got three more pieces to get. Um But we need to work it out. I think I, I should have gone back onto this stream screen though, because that's better. Because you can see more of the, the hot bar at the bottom, can't you now? Um and then uh, if I need to go full screen, I can do, can't I? Um Jelly Bean Dispenser. I can't get any of them out because we need to get hair for the bow, don't we? Which we reckon is off the off the horse. But I think we need some candy, some sweets. Can we do something with this, maybe? I don't know. It contains a lot of jelly beans. I know. Can you use this on it? It has lots of uses. No. But not this one. Okay. Can we? It has lots no. Can we twang it on here? I don't need it here. Okay. We can't do that. Hey, Tal. I hope you're good. Hope you're good. Um. I don't want you. I need you to go away. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Kind of a, a bit of an impasse here now, because we kind of we can't do anything at the lighthouse. The lighthouse we need the whole map for. Um, the museum, I think we're kind of done there. Have I still got the hammer? Hmm, maybe. No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Um, yeah. So we, we the amusement park. Not sure that's anything useful there. Library, I think we're done at the library. Now we've been back at the chest and we've looked at the book. I think we're kind of done with that. Or at least at the moment we're done with that. Um, One-Eyed Jack. Let's go back and see. One-Eyed Jack. Well, is there anything more we can do I with him? We know it is. Can I talk to him? Can I try something else? No. I'm sorry, kid. We are the you chosen are the one. Chosen one, and you have earned the right to eat the one meal the rabble can't taste: the cookie from the Bellamy family. Give them to the cookie pieces. Oh, okay. yes. See, that's a shout. Okay, so we we did we got the cookie here, didn't we? Thanks to you. Thanks, buddy. Right, let's go to the sea. Yeah, let's try that. It might be right. Give the cookie pieces to the seagull. I think it is the only one able to digest it. Oh. C-3PO, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you saw it, said it as well, Stacey, that's fine. Sorry. Don't see all the chat, remember? Great. I can finally rummage through its nest. Good shout. Finally, I managed to get rid of that bird. Let's have a look, see. What have we got then? Oh, cent coin. a coin. Hey. Now we can go back to ye oldie thing. Just going to walk through town just to do it quicker. I reckon. So I'm hoping we can we can get past all this. A coin for the sweeter machine, indeed. Yes. Uh, let's just do it this way; it's easier. I thought I might be able to do it back in here, but no, obviously not. So let's go in here and put you in there. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten a thing all day. I'm really hungry. Well, apart from that, apart from that, um, apart from that crunchy. Give me some candies. A jelly bean. You get one jelly bean. 
Wrapped jelly bean. Okay, let's go to the horse. Let's go to the horse. It's a bit of a rip off, isn't it? Right, let's give the horse the jelly bean and then be quick with the scissors. Hopefully, this will work. Whoever, yeah, whoever has Another a wrapped jelly bean. A treat. Right Better now. Put it inside the manger. Put it inside the manger, okay. And now we'll cut your hair. Tail, quick. Chop some tail feathers. Being very careful, yes. I should be able to take what I need. Good shout there, see? I think, I don't know why. Adventure games are weird, because they're sat there obvious, but my brain doesn't always think, oh, that, that works. Oh, you're all right. That didn't go too bad. Now I have these amazing horse hairs. I hope they come in handy. Okay. I love adventure games as well. Okay. So horse hair and Good idea. bow. This way I should get a perfectly functioning bow. So back here. In here, upstairs, play cello. Hopefully now that will open up. We get another another piece. It should be played like this. We get another piece of the puzzle or the map. Yeah. No. That oh. noise again. Finally, the opening is big enough. Oh, to good. I was going to say, thinking there can't be any more machines or musical instruments to play. Bow's gone. Perfect. Okay, I can get, get your hand, hand through. Grab a bit of map. Please be a bit of map. Yes. It's yes, yes, yes. Actually, it's a piece of kids' map. It is number seven. Number seven. So we have seven pieces. Almost there. I'm already at seven pieces. I need another bit of chocolate. Because I'm really hungry. I'm starving. I'm starving like Marvin. Yeah. Just there, look. So we've got pebbles. Well, have we done anything with the pebbles? I don't think we have. She only thought we've done something with, but we clearly need it again. Scissors. Matchboxes. Maybe the man's back at the drugstore. He could be. Let's have a look. Um, drugstore. Nope. Afraid not. Oh, yeah. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back. Thanks. He actually told me he was going to the warehouse. I better try later. Hey, Miss Moon. No, you haven't missed too much. We just got the um, we got the bow sorted. We've got another ma another map piece now. Um, yeah, we did, didn't we? We did use them. Yeah, we've got one more map map piece now. So, have we got anything else to do in here? I still think there's something to do with power, but why that would be there, I don't know. We'll use the printer. So I don't. I think we've kind of done everything in here that we need to do. Um, what about our old? Is it Steve? What, surely he's got something to do. Let's have a look at the things that we've got to interact with. Objects, the old globe. I'm sorry, I'd prefer you not touch it. There's some important notes and I don't want to lose them. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we might have to reach out. I don't know. Music box. Is there a way to ding the bell without the hammer? Use a tuning fork to make a slingshot, maybe. Oh. Let's go to the market. What did you buy at the market? Anything exciting? Yeah, we didn't do the bell, did we? We didn't do the bell. You're right. Um, can we combine that and that? I can't use them this way. No. Can we combine that and that? It has lots of uses, but not this one. Can we combine that and it that? It has lots of uses, but not this one. Can we? Can we hit them on there? I think they can be used in a more useful way. Um, what did the poster say? 
What did the poster say? Let's have a look. Bread and lot. I bought some bread today, I and I bought some snacks. Anything. What did it say though? It's the poster used to sponsor the carousel next door. Come to measure your strength. Make the bell ring. Only Rock Lafitte, the strongest man in the world, has done it. Rock Lafitte. Hmm. It seems to me that he was on the list my father left me. I gather he was the onboard carpenter. Once in Bone Town, he was the only one who had the technical knowledge to build an amusement park from scratch. Okay. Right aboard the ship must have trained him a lot. I'll try it, Lily. I believe he was the only one to make the bell ring. You surely need a considerable amount of strength. Is it possible the solution could be so No easy? way. No way. It seems to have worked. <laughs> I want a prize. Lily, yes. Very nice. <laughs> wow, well done. Right. See what this is about. I'm going to cut it. Teddy, property of I'm going to cut it open with the scissors. Fit. I reckon. Could he be the same man from my father's letter? Bit of map in there. He was a pirate with a soft heart. It'd be better to check this plush more carefully. I reckon so. Just as I thought. There's something oh, hidden inside. Okay, didn't need to. I but love the fact these are all like the, map, the only place no one would ever look for it. Better add his part of the map to the other pieces. Do you reckon it's um they I don't need this plush anymore? I hope Mr. Lafitte won't be offended. I'm sure he won't. Do you think the um Oh, hang on. In the meantime, what's happening? Let's just go to donation amounts in case there's something important happening. Where he is, he's back. We might have the last piece here, people. Yes, okay. Um, do you think the, the developers of this game really were into Monkey Island? Because this is so... It's got so many similarities, isn't it, with the old... Um, all the, the, the pirates and stuff. Right, let's give him his uh, let's give him his plant. There you go, buddy. Perfect. Now I Perfect. I need. My recipe Can you hear this okay, by the way? Done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic dark. They did. Sparkling. It can even you don't know what Monkey Island is? Stacy. I think that already exists. Classic Actually, game. I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega corporations. I know the market very well. I managed to ISO and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? Well, it's the root extract of a... Oh, hey. Ah, nice try, mm -hmm. boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it. Anymore. Okay, Way. See Thank you later. You. Thanks for today. We'll speak, speak to you later on. Better read it away from prying eyes. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15th, hey, 2008, Carl. deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? Who knows? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one That's that will right. know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. We are one piece away. This could be quite quick, this, I reckon. This could be quite quick. Let's go to Uncle Steve's in the town hall. Weird. Oh, no, Steve's he's gone. Here. In the meantime, I could inspect his office looking for the receipt of Dr. Every. Okay. Have a look in here. I don't think that ransacking this paperwork will help me in any way. You just said look for it. We've only got a few places we can look. The stairs don't seem safe. I don't want to risk hurting myself. Okay. So weird. There are no notes on these papers. They're all blank. What can they do? Wait a minute. There's a button under here. Ooh. I could be wrong, but they seem to have been placed in the way to hide something. There's Ooh. nothing. The headphones. Let's see what happens by pressing it. Headphones. Oh, that's that. handy. I just thought it was a drawer with some kind of mechanism. Let's go up. Well, poo. It's back automatically. There's probably another device in this room that makes it open. Well, Why poo. all this secrecy? And what's this room? Better take a look around. 
I bet there's lots. I say, I bet there's lots in here, isn't there, to look at? Um, let's look over here. There's nothing useful here. Okay, that's one down. A rope is always useful. Take that. Never know. Never know when you need it. Uh, the globe. I thought it worked the same as the one in Steve's office. Instead, this is just a simple globe. There must be another way to get out of here. Out the window. And what's this? It looks like some sort of diary. There's something inside. I don't think I'm mistaken. Yeah, this I'll check the window in a minute, Lily. Kids crew. It's surely ever. So last piece. The last piece missing. So last piece. Finally, the map is complete. On this piece, there are some coordinates. Forty-seven degrees north. Forty-seven seventy-eight degrees east. Brilliant. The coordinates are useless without the rest of the map. The light will guide you. Forty-seven degrees okay. north. Okay. Forty-seven seventy-eight. Forty-seven seven. Oh, I remember that. Forty-seven seventy-eight. Point. Why is it here? What does Steve have to do with this story? There must be something. Is Steve going to be evil? I reckon Steve could be evil. Let's see if there's an explanation in the diary. Oh, you're not going to read it. Henry came back to Bone Town. He seemed like a kid on Christmas Eve. He said he has big news he wants to share with me. Uh, that was the 7th or the 4th of the 7th. The 7th of the 7th. Hard to believe Henry achieved his feat. He finally found proof that the kid treasure uh, we always dreamed of since we were kids really exists. On the 9th, Henry revealed something, uh, something more. One of the members of the crew appears to have been a certain Chris Every. According to Henry's re uh, research, Every often... Uh, what does that say? After after retiring from the pirate's life, moved here to Bone Town. I have to stop by the old drugstore. They're the only Every still living here in Bone Town. Maybe they have something, uh, know something, and I might be able to off, uh, give Henry a hand in his research. On the 15th, a stroke of luck, I asked Fred for permission to, to rummage through the old things in the basement. After a few hours, I happened to find what, I, what looked like an old piece of a map. Blah, 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 4778. Coordinates point to the outskirts of Bone Town. In exchange, Fred wanted the property of the building. Uh, four walls for a priceless treasure. Uh, it seems like a fair exchange to me. On the 18th, I revealed to Henry that I found the coordinates of the treasure. Very hesitant, is a, very hesitant. in his opinion. It couldn't be uh, so easy. Knowing kids' ingenuity, ingenuity, doesn't matter. I finally have the opportunity to make a fortune and write my name in history. Tomorrow I will tell Henry I'm going to start digging as soon as possible. Uh, thanks, Lily. Oh, there's more. Oh, crikey, there's lots. I'm not reading it all because uh, I can't be bothered. Let's just go. Let's just go there. Um, let's just go there. I can't believe this. Steve knew. Actually, Steve is the architect of Dad's death. I could be able to read it all. all because of his envy and the longing to find kids treasure. To think they I told you, so Steve. Close. I told Almost you brothers. Steve was dangerous. Dad really trusted him, but he should have guessed his changing. And Kid wasn't that stupid. All the pieces of the map are needed to find the treasure. I have to escape from here and unmask Steve. This diary will okay. be the proof. Better go to the old lighthouse. The light will guide you. Let's hope that's true. Bart. Hey, Bart. What's going on? Oh, dear. Bart, we can't find the young Morgan anywhere. Impossible. He can't be volatilized. Volatilized. He has his father's insight. He has surely discovered something that we've been missing till now. I'm going back to my office. This city needs so a Steve was <laughs> responsible for her, his death. All right, let's go. If he's dead at all. It's Steve and the innkeeper. They're in collusion. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. So Steve is the boss. Steve actually is the boss. This window faces the road under here. Better let some fresh air in. And then we rope down. Good idea. This seems to be the only possible way out. We don't know. Might, might not be death. We'll find out in a minute. It's a dramatic sound. Come on, then. Pop. See you soon, Steve. See you, Steve. Wee. Can you take the rope? Because that'll be handy. Nope, no rope. Oh, he's off. He's running. Go on, Willie. Uh, let's go to the old. Oops, no, wrong way. Let's go to the old lighthouse. So we need to control box, and we need to okay, turn it to forty-seven seventy-eight. Uh, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Come on. Come on. 78. Nope. 79. 78. There we go. And 47. 47. 47. 
That's 47. 47.78. Is that it? It's practically impossible if you don't have any coordinates. There's no recognizable place mentioned as reference for where to aim the lighthouse. But but there is. Okay, let's try. Oh really? What did I do wrong then? That's 79 though, that one, isn't it? Surely. Put it on the lines. Ah, okay. Bingo. Thank this you. This is the point marked on the map. Let's see in what direction the lighthouse is pointing. Good. Coordinates wizard. Here we go then. Here we go. We did it right. Good guess. Oh, there's a handy cross right there. Very well. The lighthouse is positioned according to the instructions on the map. The light points in the direction of the cemetery. Better go check. Looks like we're going. So who wants to win a copy of this game? I know Coral's already got one. I can't remember who else won one. But if you want to win a copy, how about we run a little game. We'll have up to... Let's have 150. Let's have 150 on the game. Um, and whoever wins will get a copy of the game. C3PO has the code. Um, C, if you want to enter... You can, and you just have to whisper the code to yourself. Um, so if, if either Stacy or C wants to run the game, that'll be lovely. Um, I'm going to head to the cemetery while we are doing that. There we go. Good luck. Whoever gets it right wins a copy of the game. Crazy Cookie Cows, anyone entering so far? You better be quick. Come on, people. You've got to have Steam as well. It's got to be on, it's on Steam, this game. So as long as you get have Steam, and it's not on Mac, it's only on PC. Good luck with you. I'm going to head in here. Blimey, crazy cookie cow. Well done, well done, well done, well done. That was very, very quick. Well done to you. Well done to you. Um, right, here we go. Here we go. I don't think the X meant to indicate these wooden boards. It'd be better to remove them. I was going to... Oh! Once there was a legend... <laughs> Well done, Crazy Cookie Cow. Congratulations. If you do do a tweet or anything, make sure you tweet in the um, Willie Morgan game. If you look at my tweets and my Instagram posts and just say that you won a copy of the game through me, that would be very, very much appreciated. A um, sculpture. Can we even take him off? In a cemetery, a skull, even a stone one is always a bit scary. What can we take? Once there was a legend, to access the afterlife, a boat toll was required. How do we take it then? Once there was a. Okay. What else have we got in here? I don't want. Okay. Junk. It doesn't seem healthy to touch these things. So we've revealed a skull. Oh yeah. Maybe this coin wasn't used as currency yes. in the earthly world, but rather to pay the ferryman for a journey to the afterlife. Let's try. Put it in his mouth. Oh! <laughs> Bye! Ooh! Where did I end up? I think this is like going to be quite short, thing. this, guys, but it is what it is. If I'd known, we could have finished it off last time. That would have been quite handy, but there we are. Um, right, we're in a cave, people. We're in a cave. Uh, I guess we can only go down. Nothing else we can do. I can't believe it. This is a colony of Mexican psilocybe. One of the most psilocybe. powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms in the world. Could Professor well be. Jones showed one of these in class when explaining Aztec rituals. Their sour odor is unmistakable, and the conditions for growth seem to be ideal. Oh. Humid and lacking sun. Only a strong adrenaline rush can counteract their effect. They're supposed to proliferate only in a few areas in Central America. How did they end up here? I'm also wondering who put these wood barrels here. I love the echo. It's really cool. Right, what else we got then? So, should we? Can we take it? No. Okay. This species of mushroom is extremely dangerous. Okay. The Mexican psilocybe, even if taken in small doses, causes addiction and induces hallucinations in trance states. Fair enough. Uh, down here then. 
I'm guessing. Itchy, itchy, itch. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. Okay, so I keep walking then. Keep on walking. It's very casual. Oh, there's a boat. It can't be. It's like the Goonies. The hull outline, the colors on the bulkheads. A red nightmare sailed on the sea. Its slender shape induced all to stop and admire it. The historian Jean de Leon described the adventure. It's a great movie. This great movie. This is it. The adventure galley. Kids' ship. Um, let's have a look. The famous adventure galley. Rumors say that Kid launched raids in all the seas and that the adventure galley was the richest pirate ship around. Okay, what's this to us? Same thing. Alright, let's just go on the step ladder then. Done like it right now? Excellent. Crazy kicking out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, hello. Willie Morgan. Who said that? Who dares board my ship without permission? Who's talking? Without permission! Show yourself. How dare you give orders to me? Only I can give orders. Who is it? Pirate Ghost LeChuck. It can't be. I can't believe Captain this. Kid. My, my God, Dad, Dad. No Dad. way. Is that really you? I have no sons. I'm the Adventure Galley's captain. My name is only whispered in both the old and new worlds. Some people call me the Scourge of the Seas. I'm William Kid. Who are you? Oh, it is Captain Kid. Don't you recognize me? It's me, Willie. What tone is this? Boy, remember who you're talking to. <laughs> hiding, I'll be I'm hiding. Kid. What happened to you? You're not Kid. You're Henry. Henry Morgan. Don't you ever mention that name in my presence. Morgan and Blackbeard are the reason my crew and I are here. If it wasn't for their betrayal, right now we'd be the masters of Tortuga. Instead, oh dear, what's happened to him? Morgan and Blackbeard mutinied, hired their own crew and attacked us. But nobody can take possession of William Kid's treasure. Remember well these two names, because they're the worst enemies of Kid's crew. Ooh, maybe he has. Beard. What I wouldn't give to meet you face to face. And now, speak plainly. For what reason are you here? Um, this one. Dad, Captain, I'm the new deckhand you were waiting for. It's about time. There we you go. Look at that. And get to Thank work. you. The bridge needs a clean sweep. Ask the quartermaster to give you everything you need to make this ship shine. I'm going back to my cabin now. I have to plot the route for our next destination. I think Tortuga he's. I think he's. Go, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Something's affected him. We need to wake him up from his uh, from his trance-like state. What's happening here? How could Dad still be alive? Why doesn't he recognize me? I better get on the galley right now. I have to get my dad back home. Let's go. The ship is completely deserted. I guess. Dad, Funny that. Or kids, you were right. Now Plot himself, twist. Is in his cabin to the stern of the ship. Okay, so let's see what else we can look at then. Canon door up there. Mm, let's go down first, shall we? Mannequin. According to a chronicle of the period, these wooden mannequins were used to make the crew size appear larger. The fear factor and the number of armed men visible was usually enough to win a battle without even fighting. Somebody a good bonk the on the head. To this that would do wood. it. Jimbo. We have a mannequin. Okay. Uh, we have a cannon, which we don't Better want to be now. firing. The ship is docked on this side. There's a risk that the shot could ricochet and cause damage. Uh, what else we got? Let's, oh, no, don't go that way. Let's go this way. Down again. We'll have that, surely. This old sword could come in handy. Maybe I can learn how to handle it. If I'm not mistaken, near my house. I know this is that this is how this is how streams normally are. That should guarantee normally. success. So we've still got a lot of items left. I don't yeah, quite know what we're going to do the with hilt them. Is all sticky. Time must have corroded the handle's material. You don't want a sticky hilt, do you ever? This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. Right, we've got a fire later. Uh, this way. It's locked. If, as I suppose, this is the door to the hold, they have surely reinforced it. I obviously need the key to enter. Okay. I could ask the captain if he knows where I can find it. Okie dokie. Uh, in that case, then, what's that one opening? Why on earth no more should sausage. I through this hole? 
We shouldn't. We should go up. So we go up again. And then through that door, which is going to be locked, I'm guessing. What's Hello. Now? I hope it's something important. What, let's wipe your hilt before sheathing. <laughs> this is tr this is true. <laughs> I need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this on. Okay. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. <laughs> let's see if this is true of you. Okay. Answer these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew except the captain that you met on board. Okay, dokie. Um, we're gonna go for. Uh. I guess Henry Morgan. Second question. Mm -hmm. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Uh. Grog and other delights. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Oh, at least 14. 14. I'm sorry. You're not it's ready not, yet. not 14. The answers are all around you. Okay. We need to look. We need to look. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna properly look. We're gonna now we know what we're looking for. We need to look. So look on here. It doesn't strike me as the best time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. No. Okay. An old three-cornered hat. I think it belonged to some captain or someone from the upper class. Anyway. Take it. Why not? Why the devil not? Some Clovers. Clothes. Take them. I think you should probably get dressed, mate. Uh, what else we got? A crack. You right there? I can't take them. Obviously. I can't take it. I know. I can't reach it. I get that. Dad is seated at the captain's desk. Okay. There's a strange smell coming from the cabin. It's that in it. It's that he's drinking mushroom juice. He's drinking juice of mushroom. I think we've got to drop something into his drink from there to wake him from his from his slumber. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. But surely we have to take it out, which is why he's he's cursed. Surely. Uh, right, so we have cannons, we have things. We need to go back down again, I think. And we need to look at what possibly could have... Or do we just guess and keep guessing until we get it right? Let's look at... Um, let's look at this diary. Um... So, Henry's body. I'm just gonna quickly skim this myself. If you want to read it, guys, just read it. Pebbles in the can. I'll have a look. Yeah, but well, I don't think pebbles are gonna work. I think it's more. I think we need to do something. Pebbles in the drink, maybe. I don't want to answer the questions first, though. And get into the hold. So we'll see if there's any numbers of battles or anything. Um, you can't read that. Well, no, you're on a mobile. Um, right, we'll go down. We'll have a look. And just double check. There's nothing else that we can do in here. I think they can be used in a more useful way. So no pebbles in there. Talk about Jimbo, yeah, possibly, but we need to get all the questions right. I mean, we could just guess, but let's knock again then and see if we can get we just luck luck the answers, shall we? What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Yes. Well, let's just Captain, see what he says. Can you tell me your story? So he tells Is this us the more. reason you embarked. I hoped to understand how you ended up here, Dad. I have no time to get angry now. Go back to your duties. You can hear my story from the other members of the crew. Okay. 
So in that case, then, need the key to access the hole. we'll carry on still aren't enough trying to answer the questions. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three So we'll do Jimbo first, then. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo? Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Now, we did get the thing. But I... Surely the Atlantic I don't Codex know. by Leonardo. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? 36. I'm sorry. You're not I'm ready yet. The, captain's the answers cabin. are all around you. No. Sorry, Captain. Um, I'll leave you to well, your business. I can't go in this room. Go back to your duty, second. He shuts the door. Other than here. It doesn't strike me as the best time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. So. Yeah, we can't drop anything in there anyway, so. Can we? We've got a sword, we've got a hat, we've got clothes now, so we're sort of sorted for that. Here it's written that Dr. Alfred Every gave a few artifacts to Steve Bonnet in exchange for the drugs. I'm curious to know what those. Surely Steve could tell me some. Right, so that's no good at all. Um. Something in the last room about a book called Grog. Yeah, that's what that's what I guess. That's why I answered that one. Um, we can't go up anymore. So it's just the cannons or down or off. Hmm. There's nothing else we can look at. Don't really see how we're supposed to get the answers. It would be better to use the stairs. Do you know what I mean? How are we supposed to get the answers to something we haven't, we can't actually see anymore? It's not helpful to me like this. Hmm. Short of guessing every answer. Okay. I think it's the grog one. Jimbo, the grog, and then one more. And we've tried two different things, so we'll try we'll try just a different one again. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official every I think I let's see it first. Okay, so Jimbo. Jim second question. We'll try Grog. Grog. Third and last And we'll try fourteen again. Fourteen. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, okay. You still aren't ever I think I let's so do it. We'll do it again. We'll do Jimbo. Jimbo. Second question. We'll do Grog. Third. And we'll do 36. Third. I'm sorry. Right. And, and then we'll do 27. You still every I think I let's see first. We'll just rule out that Jimbo. we'll rule Second out question. According to which code have the rules of life on board Teddy Bear, been I suppose, yeah. That would make sense because he did it for Teddy Bear. Third and last question. I'm sorry. The end. Okay, so I'll need you every. I think I let's see first. Could be Teddy the Bear. Second question. According to. So Grog. Grog and third and. Fourteen. I'm sorry. The end. Okay. I'll need you every. I think I let's see first. So Teddy the Bear. Second question. Grog. Third and. Thirty-six. Thirty. I'm sorry. The end. No. Okay. <laughs> you still every. I think let's see first. Teddy the Bear. Second question. Grog. Grog. Third and. 27. One. I'm sorry. It's not that either. Yet. The answer. So. Someone's. What? This anyway. No less than a hundred. Steely. Anything else? I'll need you still every. I think. Let's see. First. I guess. Second. So. We'll try I'll Henry Morgan. I'm sorry. The end. You still aren't every. I think I already saw. Let's see it first. So Henry Morgan again. I guess. Second. Grog. Grog and other. Third and. Thirty-six. 36. I'm so the end. 
No, so it's, if he's not 24, then I don't know. First. Second question. Third and 27. I'm sorry. Okay. You're not ready yet. So it's none of the three names you. with that book. So is it not the Glock book? I you still every I think let's first. So we'll try Teddy the Bear. We'll try the little prince. Third and last and we'll try 14. Oh, sorry. And you still every I think let's first. I have a feeling at the moment. Maybe Teddy the Bear. Second question. According to which code have the rules Does his answers to the other questions that? when you knock on his door give hints? Not sure. But we're, we're on here now anyway, so I can't even third I'm science. I'll need you still every new I think I let's see first. Could be second. Third and I'm the answers. <sighs> okay. So we can't knock anymore because we're on the boat, so we can't even go back to the questions that we're you still every new member must get to know the ship. I think I already saw everything and let's see first. Jimbo. Second question. We're gonna try third and I'm so the end. I'm just gonna try all I'll the things that we've every got. New... I think let's see first. Jimbo. Second question. Third and third. I'm sorry. The end. You still every. I think I... let's see first. Second. Third. One. Um, the answers are all around you. Okay, so we've done. There are rats inside the magazine. That's the reason you've been brought on, deckhand. Try to earn your daily rations. Anything else? Uh. Hey, two wolves and a jackal. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. Um. So. I'll need you still every. I think. Let's see. first. Nobody. Second question. Brother. I'm sorry. The end. It's good. So, I don't get this anymore. I'm actually at a loss. It's an amazing sh I wonder how many secrets. And we can leave, but there's literally nothing we can do. You have to do more. You have to do more than ask questions. I'd only risk ruining it. I'd only risk ru. I'd only risk. Huh. It's a wooden mannequin. There's an inscription, Jimbo. They used it together with other mannequins to make the crew size look its largest. So Jimbo is the answer. An old sword. The hilt is sticky. Over time, the fibers from which it was... A three-cornered hat. Usually, they were worn by people of a... I'd only risk ruining it this way. Nope. No clothes on the mannequin. I have to find a better use for them. I think we have to dress up as a... As a thing, eventually. So Jimbo is the answer, <coughs> I think. That's the, that's the crew member we've, fat, we've met. Okay, definitely Jimbo. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. Nothing else down there. Put the mannequin somewhere. Where would we put it? That is not its purpose. Not here. A real sea dog would have never sat on one of the cannons turned to four. They were extremely superstitious. They thought that turn. Hang on then. This old mannequin was used to deceive the enemy. The more mannequins there were, the larger and more dangerous the crew seemed. I could use it to distract my dad and enter his cabin. Ah. If I could disguise it as a pirate, I could make it pass for one of Kid's most bitter enemies. Hey, go. If I'm not mistaken, he named Morgan and Blackbeard earlier. I really see it as a Morgan. A classy touch. 
there the you go. Look more important. There you they go. The right size. I don't think there was much variety of measurements on a pirate ship. It's starting to look like a member of the crew. So now, let's try to make it we can go in and get the answers. Threatening. Right. Let's now knock on the door. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan. Morgan. You finally came back for the final showdown. It looked a bit like him, but it's not him. Morgan. Quartermaster, 100 lashes with a cat of nine tails for whoever organized this joke. Okay, so we're not quite at Morgan level yet. Anything else? No. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, Deckhand. So what have we got then? That's uh I don't think that would work. I think they can be used in a more useful way. What have we missed? Have we missed something? It has lots of uses, but not this one. Hmm. I'm not an arsonist. I need this to frame Steve. Better not. It could still come in handy. Okay. I don't need it here. Not now that I've been able to recover all the pieces. Better not. There. Are... Better not. Right. So. What are we missing that we haven't yet done? The old multi-purpose tool. Hey, cookie lover, I hope you're good. Can I fire it now? This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. No. <sighs> wow, okay. So I'm a little confused now. I mean, even more confused than I was Why before. Why on earth should I leave through this hole? I don't know. Can I use the cannon on top? Probably not. No, because it's just Jimbo the pirate now. Multi-purpose tool on the door? No, I need a key for that. I don't need to move it. I have to make it believable. Let's see if there's anything else up here that we've missed. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. Hmm. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. These are books on dressmaking. Evidently, Kid cared about being up to date on the evolution of European costume. Or some guest... It has lots of uses, but not this one. It's a cannon on top by your head. Pardon? Pardon, madame. It's weird, isn't it? It's a cannon from the 17th century. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't use it. It hasn't got a whip. Let's see anything through the crack. Some boards became ruined over time, creating a crack that shows the cabin below. It should be the captain's cabin. <clears throat> they look like nautical charts, probably routes of the adventure galley. Don Quixote de la Mancha. It's one of the first editions. Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise, hmm. but interesting. Uh, Dad looks busy. He completely got into the role. So there's another book there. I wonder if we get another option now on the book. Yeah. Let's just see if the book if the book answers are different now. 
Let's see if they're different. Just see if we get another option. I still think it's Jimbo. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the you still every I think I let's see if they first. Second question. Life on the seas by Kit. Okay. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced? So we still need to find 14. I'm sorry. No, alright, we still need to find the answer. Are all around you. Still need to find that answer. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Yeah, so where is the battle answer? It's a relatively new cannon. Probably after the last battle, Kid replaced the cannons that weren't working anymore. I can see the cave in which the ship is docked. So I've just got to right click on all. Um, so I'm right clicking on these now. Not left clicking. Which it's is one of the before. oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Eight notches. So eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. There you I go. It's still armed and ready to fire. Eight battles. That's very clever. I like the fact that you were given answers, but they're not the actual answers. Okay. So we can try eight. Good luck, Crazy Cookie Cow. It's enjoyable, the first part. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll you still are every... I think I... Let's see first. Right, so. Jimbo. Jimbo. Life on the Seas. And then eight. Eight. Well done. You have the honor of becoming... Well done, people. Well pirates. done, all Among of you. Us, there's a pact of mutual friendship and loyalty. Brilliant. You deserve the key to access the home. Does my camera look very blurry, or is it just me? Thanks, Captain. I'm honored to be part of your crew. Not sure. Right. So Sorry, we need to go in the hold now and get your business. a Good. moustache to your duty, or second. something like that, I reckon. I look blurry naturally. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's go in here then. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Wow, the legends were treasure. This is the result of years of piracy in all the seas of the world. It's a world. mask. Is that a mask? Yes. It's a mask. It doesn't seem to come from the Americas. I think it's the loot plundered from the assault on some ship coming from Europe. I'll have that. It probably contains vanilla or cardamom. Cardamom. There's a lot of money on the European market. I'm not interested in taking these coffee beans. I'm a coffee beans. Kid and his crew. I got the key when I answered. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on Morgan. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have to be dated and cataloged, even if I'd like to dive into it, like in the comic books. Doubloons, doubloons, and other coins. Okay. Have a look on the crates. They will surely be full of jewels. Yeah, we got the answers correct. The three questions correct. That was all. They will surely be full of doubloons or jewels. But now I have other priorities. I just think it was Morgan that we had to get the mask for. I have a feeling. This gives it an aura of mystery. Now we knock. There we go. Old acquaintance achievement has been unlocked. It said in the screen. We could be getting there now, people. We could What's be getting there. Now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan. Morgan. You finally came back for the final showdown. <laughs> it's real. Yes, people. Outrage. Yes. What nerve you dare show? By returning to the ship you turned your back on after it welcomed you as a child. Go on, Prepare in the, yourself to face my wrath. In the room. While Dad is busy, I can access the captain's cabin. Quick, get in there. The day of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the galley's nautical charts. With these, it'll be possible to reconstruct the history of the ship, follow the routes it traveled, and identify the ships and cities it pillaged. Take them, then. What we got then? So a chalice. Dad has placed the log we'll take the chalice. The 
Since I'm here, I better take them both. I would. What else we got? The same acrid smell of the mushrooms I saw in yes, the cave. Yes, see, whoever was that was it, Lily, or see, I can't remember. But that's things. why he's been Dad poisoned. To survive all or these years hallucinating. Water and mushrooms, even in small quantities, they sustain was you? any organism that okay, feeds on them. Okay, Stacey, well done. Vital energy. On the other hand, well done, well done. Powerful hallucinogen. Dad's state of shock following his fall from the cliffs, combined with the sight of Kid's ship, made him believe that he was the captain. If he keeps drinking from this chalice, he might never wake up. I have to get rid of this chalice. Professor Jones taught us that a strong adrenaline rush will counteract the mushroom's effect. Okay. First the chalice, and then the adrenaline. One thing at a time. Uh, statue? It's the statue of a dragon. It was also Kid's nickname. Other than Scourge of the Seas, he was known as the Sea Dragon for the firepower of his cannons. I'll make him Better jump leave then. it where it is. I don't need it to get now we, out of here. Now we can fire. Kid, the Sea Dragon. Okay, now we can fire the thing. Should we take them? The galley's nautical chart. Follow the... These are the nautical charts. With these, I can't do... Can't take them yet. Okay, right. Let's get out of here. Let's go and. Uh... Oh, hello. Time to end the game. It's Steve. Don't show your face again. Or again. <laughs> Look who's back. Henry and his kid, the young Morgan. The young Morgan. How did you manage to get here, Steve? It wasn't difficult. I was looking for you all over town, and suddenly, what a stroke of luck! I saw you entering the crypt in the graveyard. I mean, Steve. A long time. Eventually, I decided to enter and I saw the tunnel. Henry, I didn't think you were still alive. I am partly relieved. My regret was consuming me. In the end, you were right. No, the one of the candles is one of the um, cannons is already ready to fire. How dare you come aboard my ship without permission and offend a member of my crew? Who are you? Henry, don't you recognize me? It's me. Dad. Captain. It's Blackbeard. He was also able to get Very aboard. clever, Willie. Yes, I recognize you now. I see that you and Morgan are still inseparable. You'll end up just like him. Very Henry. clever. Not again. You leave me no choice. <laughs> He's been drinking funny I juice. Henry. I'm ready. Let's see what you can do. On go. Let's just get downstairs quick and uh, fiery le cannon. Fire. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. I think we've got one. Man. Idiot. Uh. I'm not interested in taking. Uh. The temptation to but death. Uh. They will surely but never. Uh. Okay. Not that then. This. Oh, we've done that already, haven't we? Um. This cannon is ready. I should have a valid. Alright, not doing that then. Get out of the hole. Why on earth? No. Out of that hole. It would be better to. Okay. Oh, my dad's just broken my thing again. Thank you, Dad. But you've broken my thingy magic now. The game, everything is broken. Has it come back? Can you hear it? No, you can't. I don't think. Let's see what you can do. Oh, you can. And it's broken again. Oh wow. This is great. This is great. Thank you, Dad. But um, my thing's broken completely. Yep, broken completely. I'm going to just pause this a second. That's really annoying. I've got a tab out now. My dad has broken the stream. Blame the dad. It's all going to go wrong now. Oh, why does that do that? I don't understand why it does it. Really weird. Um, 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 yeah, it doesn't like donations. It's weird. No, nope, hang on. Hang on, game. Wait a second. Um, I've got to turn this back on again. Are you going to come back on? Might be done, might be done, might be done. There we go. That's all right, Dad. Thank you very much. I'm not going to do the music. Don't want to interfere with the thing. Um, voodoo doll. Is this all you can do? I'm just warming up. Voodoo, voodoo doll. Not voodoo doll. 
Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Thank oh, you, God. Dad. Though, right, let's quickly go and get the voodoo doll. Maybe. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. Okay. Um. Very weird. I'm gone. Whatever you want, Henry. Oh no! Two pounds away from one hour of hardcore. No. Finally, we'll see who comes um, victorious. So prepare yourself. I was born ready. Can't you do any better? You'll see. Let's see what you can do. On guard. But uh, I didn't have any reason to fire them last time. I can't let you go. Nobody wants to escape. One of the cannon is already ready to shoot, isn't it? So it doesn't need anything more. Kid, the sea dragon. It's the statue of a dragon. It was all other than scrap. Better leave it where it. No, he doesn't need anything like that. So, yeah, but I've got one that's ready to fire, so that's why you don't need to fire that one. I think that's what they meant by that. Let's see what you can do. On guard. Um. Day of reckoning. Finally, we'll see who better keep a safe distance. I have to get rid of it so that the mushrooms won't proliferate inside. Let's see if you can handle me. I have to get rid uh, of it so that um, the mushrooms won't proliferate inside. Proliferate. It's the Adventure Galley's logbook. Whatever you want, Henry. Um. I can't. It's a cannon from the 17th century. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't use it. It hasn't got a whip. Prepare yourself. I was. This is weird. It should work. It's not a cannonball, so it won't see three PO. Genius. And now the coup de grace. Fire. Well done. Boom. I Fire in the hole. Heck, I didn't see that coming. Oh. The racket from the cannon was more devastating than the Very shell good. itself. Better go back on deck and alert Dad. Destroyer of worlds. Quick, get back up there. Come on, Willie. Come on, son. You don't stand a chance this time. We'll see. Hey. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt your duel, but I think we need to go. The cave is collapsing. Captain, what are you talking about? It's very goonies, yeah. Very goonies. Very goonies. Steve is reducing the effect of the mushrooms. Hurry, let's go. There's not much time. Not before seeing the treasure. I've never been so close to it. I have no intention. All right, you go that. down. But Steve, not Chunk. now. There will be other opportunities in the future. Yes, Steve. The kid's right. Let's run while we still can. Henry. Do you recognize me? Steve, is that you? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. He's saved. Uh, it feels like I just woke up from a long dream. There's no time, Dad. Let's go. Dad? H how come? Who? You go. I want kids to you stay and you can and go. You can my sink. whole life's work. Henry, yeah. <laughs> just know that I didn't want any of this to happen. I'll see you go down there. Bye. Farewell. Goodbye. Dad. Let's go. Come on, mate. Let's okay. get out of here. I'll follow. A few hours later. Dad, I finally found you. Willie. Is that really you? How how long has it been? Ten years, Dad. Ten very long years. Ten years. So this means you received my letter. <laughs> yes. But why did you only have it delivered after maybe all this it time? Will, Maybe it will. Maybe it will. I sensed that something was wrong with Steve. I could see it in his behavior. When I realized that the search for kids' treasure was becoming an obsession, I started to suspect that he could hurt our family. I hid my piece of the map and decided to deal with him. You are a Morgan. You have the spirit of adventure in your blood. But you were only five, and I didn't want to trouble Mom with such a burden. I hoped that in ten years Steve's obsession would vanish. I decided that the 
If anything ever happened to me, you, after turning the necessary age, would be ready to pick up from where I left off. So I sent the post-dated letter. I read Steve's diary. I know you fell off the cliff. How did you survive? A stroke I of luck. Don't know what that is. I fell right into the sea, and the tide pushed me toward an underwater passage that led directly to the cave. I wanted to find a way to get back to the surface, but I had to recover my strength first. The last thing I remember is some really delightful mushrooms. Then it's all a blank. Dad, let's go back home. We have a lot of things to talk about. Plus, we have to find a way to tell Mom without making her faint. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> yes. We should go back. Ready to leave Bone Town once and for all? Bone Town is not a bad town. As soon as the legal formalities are arranged, we could think about coming back here. Remember, deep inside the cave is still the Adventure Galley. Who knows how much you can still tell the world about the Golden Age of Piracy. Speaking of which, when I took the chalice, I also brought the ship's logbook with me. Here it is. Hurrah! There's going to be more. There's going to be more people. Willie Morgan and the Knights of the Sea, perhaps. Who knows? Who the devil knows? That was amazing. That was amazing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, fantastic. So congratulations to the three of you that won the copies of the game. Hopefully that hasn't put you off playing it yourself. Um, it was amazing. If the guys from... Um, from the Willie Morgan team watch this thank you very much for my code and the three codes you gave me um really do really do um uh, appreciate that and um C3PO thank you very much indeed for the for the donation let me refire that because uh through the melon window thank you <laughs> um yeah guys we're gonna leave it there thank you very much I really do appreciate it um yeah, amazing. So thank you. Thank you to anyone that's everyone that's watched. I'm going to upload this now to the main YouTube channel. And also, don't forget, I've got the live stream earlier um, to go on as well. But thank you for now. I'm going to say goodbye. And I'll see you money. Cheers, see. See you later.